so it's 6 24 and this is my first pump of the day um i really woke up at like five o'clock this morning five twelve um and then she fed on the right side for like an hour um it was it was a while so i'm a little late to starting this i usually like to start at six but this is what it is so i use the medela it's already going try not to flash you guys um I use the Medela Sonoda like first thing in the morning and then right before I go to sleep. So I'm trying to think of like how we're gonna do this. Um, because I kind of want to give you an overview of my like pump breastfeeding schedule. That way maybe it gives you guys some inspiration if you're looking for one. Um, and then I have to pack some breast milk today. So this is definitely geared more towards like motherhood and breastfeeding and pumping. So, I'm gonna finish this up and we'll move on to the next. Okay, so, my first pump session, I don't know if you can see that, let's see. Let's get it up here. Took me about 30 minutes. Um, usually it's 30 minutes to 45, just depending on if I hit another letdown or not. And then, I lied to you earlier, it wasn't my right side, it's my left side. Um, I got about two ounces out on my left side, but that's the side she fit on for over an hour and then I got five ounces out of the right side. So I will get this to as close to like four ounces in each as possible and then bag it. All right friends, so I was able to get three ounces, right? Yeah, three ounces in one bag and then four ounces in the other and that's pretty typical of my mornings. Um, every now and then I'll have like a really productive morning, um, but that's pretty good for me. And then I just stick it in the back of this, this tray. This is what we're packing today. Um, so this is from, I started August 6th with this one. So I go about four days. I'll put them in here and then I'm gonna show you guys how I freeze them and everything. Um, but that's it for the first morning pump. I'm gonna go get ready to work out and I'll see you when I go to feed her later. So this is feeding number 13. I totally forgot to record her first feeding of the day, but I'm up at the uh, classroom that I'm gonna work for this little like preschool program, kind of organizing everything. And so it was time to eat, so we're eating. Hey friends, so, okay, I'm on breast, or breast session. I'm on, we're feeding, this is number five. Hold, hold on, me popped off. Um, this is number five. I didn't get to film number four. I was at the school, um, like you saw in my third one, and I was there with my co-teacher and we were talking and I just didn't want to be rude and like pull out my phone and start recording myself. That seemed a little awkward. So we're here now and we're doing pretty good. She recently has been able to, I'm gonna kinda, I'm trying to hold my phone and record myself. Um, she's recently been very efficient. And so we've been getting done with our breast sessions or breastfeeding sessions, like within 15, you know, 20 minutes, um, except for this morning, whenever she went for an hour. But after we get done here, I'm going to show you guys how I like pack my breast milk up and everything. I have breast milk from last week when we were on vacation that I need to do. And then I've got a ton that I haven't been able to put in the, fr the freezer because of that. And so I'm gonna show you guys kind of my system and how I'm gonna like pack everything up. All right, so I just got done breastfeeding. That was I, our fifth time, <laughs> if I remember correctly. And I wanted to show you guys how I kind of try to keep my breast milk organized. Um, I'm not, I haven't had to get into my breast milk stash yet. And to be honest, it kind of it kind of cracks me up because I feel like when you start building a breast milk stash, it's kind of like it gives you those like nice endorphins. Um, so you like open up the deep breeze and you're like, oh, I have all these bags, or like you open up the freezer, or you know, whatever. Um, but I wanted to kind of show you when I don't put them directly in the freezer like I should, I do this. And so the start date on this is August 6th. So it's been four days. Um, well, the end of the day will be four days. So I'm gonna show you how I am gonna freeze all of these at one time. And then I'm also gonna show you how I set up the little, 
think some people call them like brick bags, but how I set them all together like that. And then I'm gonna show you the freezer in the kitchen. Because basically what ended up happening was last week we were in Broken Bow for vacation and so I was pumping and then I froze it there so that I could bring it back and not have to worry about it. Well, of course, whenever I got home, I was tired. So instead of bricking it then and putting it in the deep freeze, I just threw it in the freezer in here. So I'm gonna take you guys over there and show you what it kind of looks like. And then I will, I think at the end of this video, be able to show you what I actually do. Because what I try to do is keep two bags of at least four ounces in the fridge, just in case something ends up happening, then somebody has, you know, eight ounces that they can give her and I don't have to worry about it. And then basically I rotate. So in the morning, whenever I pump, I will leave those in the, fr the fridge. And then at night, when I pump again, I'll move the ones from the fridge down to the freezer, put the nighttime ones up in the bin. And then whenever I, um, it's in there, so I'll have to show you. But I have another little like clear plastic container. Once that's filled up, I will brick it, move it out to the uh, deep freeze, and kind of start everything over. So let me take you guys over there and show you that really quick, and then we'll get to packing everything else. Okay, so this is what's going on in my freezer right now. Try to ignore the stuff over here. But basically, what I do is I'll lay them flat on this side, and then transfer them over to this clear plastic container when they're completely frozen. And then once this is filled up, I'll completely brick it. But of course, like I said, we were on vacation. So these are all the ones from vacation that I just kind of threw in here to keep frozen. So we're gonna have to bag all of those, bag all of that. And then at the end of this video, when I do my last pump session of the night, I can show you how I move bags down. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the frozen ones done first. So I can get them on the deep freeze. So I just do the gallon Ziploc bags, the ones that are meant for the freezer. And then just kind of start putting them in there. I do know that I think you can buy like a fancy, I'll try to link it, but you can buy a fancy little thing that like holds them correctly like this. But since this is my, my last baby and I don't plan to have any more, I didn't think I don't want to buy a bunch of stuff um because i don't you know i don't think it's needed so but if you're on your first baby you know you're gonna have more kids then i definitely would look into something like that i think it'd be a little easier to store so i want i want it to fit comfortably like not too tight but Just zip it up. So there's one. So it looks like we're gonna get two in. And then I, one of those people that is not extremely strict with my dates, like as long as it's not like too much. Good lord. Um, as long as it's not too much or something like that like these are both the end of July beginning of August kind of thing and I freeze about four ounces at a time that's what's good for me all right so there's our second one Hi. Made. <laughs> okay and then so we're not gonna fill this next one up But we're going. Good lord. So I'll put it out there like this, and then whenever we freeze the next ones, I'll finish up this bag and then start a new one. Okay, so to do the um, ones that have been sitting in the fridge, I'm going to start from the back and. You wanna mix the fat back into the bag and make sure it's closed. And then lay it like that. And this is kind of how I do it. 
Again, there are some people out there that are super particular on how they want everything mixed. All of that fun stuff. I'm not, I'm not necessarily that way. So I just, you know, we're all trying the best we can. So this is how I do mine. And if you guys want to do that, you can. So, but basically that. And I also, down in the comments, tell me what you consider to be an oversupply. So I tried to Google like the definition and maybe I just wasn't Googling it right, um, but I could not come up with a definition um, for an oversupply or like, you know, this many ounces is considered an oversupply kind of thing. So I really would like to know what you consider an oversupply because I think that I'm an oversupplier like I said, I'm exclusively breastfeeding her throughout the entire day. And then I'm also getting basically 16 to 20 extra ounces at night. And I think, if I remember correctly, like a baby eats 32 ounces in a day. So, you just have to see. Okay, so then you just take another tray and you set it on top. And yeah, so then I will put this big old guy out of my deep freeze and let it freeze. Okay, so you have to ignore my dirty fridge, but I wanted to show you guys <laughs> what it looks like empty. So now we're completely set back to start here. So not tonight, but in the morning um, when I do that pump, I'll put it down there and I'll film that and record it too. And then y'all are about to see my dirty garage. Oh, I turned the lights up. Oh, there be light. One day this will be a video of me cleaning all of that. Won't that be fantastic? Okay, and so then in the deep freeze, I've got <laughs> that up there. Then this will also be another video of organizing said deep freeze. I totally just now realized that I have this whole tray that I need to brick. I'll do that on another day. And then, yes, I do know that some people don't like them being in the door. It doesn't bother me. So they're in the door right now. That's all that I had saved so far um, which I feel like I'm very proud I'm very proud of my two almost full shelves um, I started my breastfeeding I mean I had her June 3rd and it's August 10th now uh, which also if anybody's a Bluey fan Bluey is out now so I don't know if you know that or not my daughter is a huge huge Bluey fan and I think they released their new season today so along with the breastfeeding. There you go. Okay, so now we are on to feed number six of the day and it's right around, it's getting close to six o'clock. Um, I don't think I've been saying the times in all of them, so I will make sure to post on that clip like what time it is and everything. Today she's been going about every two hours or so. Yesterday she was every three hours, so it really just kind of changes onto her, whatever her preference is for the day. Um, but no, where this is our last feed before we will do like our nighttime feed and at the nighttime feed um, we do like a story and we say our prayers and we popped off again. Can you get back on? Well, I'm about to cut this short because I had to get her back on. So you'll see what happens in the nighttime feed when we get there. Okay, you'll have to ignore my red face and hair. Um, I was outside mowing because I thought that Miss Everly was finished until we went to feed to go to bed, but she surprised me and she's not. She's eating again. So we must be growing. Hey. I think that's probably what's going on because the last few days she had spaced her feeds out by like three hours um, and now she's back to like every two hours like on the dot. I walked in, had just finished mowing and she was losing her mind, bless her heart. So this is our seventh, yeah. This is our seventh time feeding today, exclusively on the breast. So she'll feed one more time, and then I'll do a pump session, show you guys what I do there, and then go from there. So I just wanted to keep you guys updated. It's 7.35 right now, so 
All right, I'll see you in just a bit. Okay, friends, so I'm back in this chair. You guys have basically seen me in this chair all day long. Um, this is one of my favorite spots to nurse because it's kind of quieter. So first off, um, sorry for the bad lighting, but it's nighttime and we're trying to get her to go to sleep, so kind of, you know, turn the lights down. But this is her final, like, on the breastfeeding for the day, and it's around 9.30. Usually, she's down by 9 o'clock, but we went for a walk, and then it was bath day, so I went ahead and gave her a bath. And so, now she'll feed, and she'll go to sleep. And one of the last things on this video, I will pump one more time and bag everything. So, I'll see you guys okay, there. Okay, friends, we have made it to the end of the day, and you can hear my kid playing Xbox in the living room. And I sunburn myself when I mowed. Um, but no, we have made it to the end of the day. It's 11 o'clock, so I'll get done pumping around 11.30ish, um, just depending on if I have another letdown or not. And I will show you guys that part of it, and that should hopefully be the end. Um, so yeah, let's finish out this pump session, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I just finished pumping, and I got three, about three ounces on the right side, and then three and a half ounces on the left side. I will say that I usually tend to get a little more than that, but I think because she had that extra feed in there, it kind of, I don't know, may have thrown my supply off a little bit. So I'm going to go bag these bad boys and put them in the fridge. And then tomorrow morning, I'll switch those down to the freezer. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm trying to find my groove and rhythm and filming and posting and editing and all of that fun stuff. So I'm really glad that if you've made it through this entire video and you've gotten to this point, um, thank you so much. Please don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to continue seeing videos, please subscribe. Any comments or suggestions, I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will, uh, I'll see you guys next time.